So I just wanted to do a quick update to uh, the whole status of uh, Quest 2 after version 57 update. And um, the only reason I'm doing this actually is because I just finished recording another video and I noticed a couple of interesting things. So I figured, you know, might as well come back and check all this out. So first and foremost, uh, yeah, that's still fucked up. So I don't know if you can see that, the jittering uh, part of my hand. But if I come over here, it's nice and smooth. Watch what happens when I get close to the mirror. It gets screwed up. So it's the mirror. The mirror is messing it up. Uh, they haven't fixed that. Now, someone did leave a comment that you could turn this off. And I have not figured out how to do that. Uh, I don't think they've done anything different. Yeah, when I'm in front of the mirror or next to the mirror or looking in this general direction, everything is all fucked up. Everything is all jittery and just really messed up. Yeah, I don't think there's a way for me to to close it just yet. If that's something they're going to do, then they haven't done it for me yet. Ooh, okay. There we go. Yeah, still jittery, still kind of screwed up. Um, but aside from that, I did notice that the hand tracking is actually really, really nice again. So let's put our controllers down and uh, let's do that. Now, it's always touch screen now. You can't get rid of that. You can make it big. Yeah, this is all jittery. It's better when I go over there, when I look away from... I like that. That's cool. So that was another cool thing that I noticed that you can do that. And you can do that while you have the controllers on. Bring it closer to you so you can still touch and it's cool yeah I, I i like the change now i'm getting used to it because it's starting to work better and for a moment for just a moment i think it's a, it was a glitch i had this hand as my hand and this hand i had my controller and they were both working simultaneously but it only happened for a second because i had this like this in my hand moving it around and I had the controller in this one. Now I saw somewhere that that's going to be a feature that they're going to do. So you can actually have just one controller and then have the other one just your hand. Uh, but it's not actually working now. So if I, if I grab my controller now. There we go. See my hand disappears. So, and it goes back to like being there until I pick up the controller, the other controller. But that, you know, it is what it is. So here you would grab it this way, bring it close to you. Can I? Yeah, you can also use that grip button. And then you can either just use you know, the regular icon or you can actually touch it with your, with your finger. Correct me if I'm wrong, but let's see if... I know it's not going to show up on camera, but what you are going to see now is probably just blackness when I do this. But now I'm in pass-through. Okay. I can see my room. I can see the mess. And I can see my cats. Thankfully, they're not making any noise. But I can also see this screen. And it's like in my room. I don't recall that being an option or being a function before version 57. Correct me if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, please just blow up my comments and just say, hey, you're an idiot. Um, I do appreciate the comments, by the way. But, yeah, um, I, I'm in my room, and I can see everything in my room. You're just seeing darkness and, and the screen, this, this menu screen in front of you. But I'm seeing everything in my room. So that's... I, 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 I feel like I would have noticed if that was a thing before. Um, but yeah, now you can do that. So now you can, you know, go into your settings here and you're, you're still, it's like it's floating in your screen, in your room, even though, you know, it's all black and white um, because it is Quest 2. I don't know if the Quest 3 has color or not. I'll be honest with you. I'm not really interested in Quest 3, you know, I, I, I went out of my way to get Quest 2 recently. You know, it's going to be a year soon, but not quite yet. Um, so the idea of already jumping to another headset, yeah, that, it's 
I'm going to wait on that. I don't know if you can see like the ghostly silhouette of my hands on video. Uh, I can see them. I can see the little menu button here, which never works unless you're inside a game. And then this one, which is the, you know, does all this stuff. I can turn off pass through. And that's another thing I noticed. And I, it's the little things. It's the little things, actually, that that seem to make the biggest difference. So let's see if I can get it to show on, on camera. So I'm going to turn on pass through. Okay. Turn it off. So I don't know if it's showing on screen, but what's happening is... Um, let's do it again. Okay, so when I turn off, when I turn on the pass-through, the virtual world kind of fades out like a curtain being lowered. And then as it's being lowered, I see my, my actual space. That's cool. I know it's, again, it's not a, it's not really that serious, but I think it's cool. And then when I turn off the pass-through... Again, I don't know if it shows up on camera, but the virtual world slowly comes up again like a curtain. And it kind of like erases my room and replaces it slowly. Well, not slowly, but gradually with the virtual world. And I think that's amazing. I think that's really cool. Um, but so far, those are the only major differences that I've noticed. Aside from it being still buggy as all hell. Um, you know, with the screen shifting and all that, like this shouldn't look like this, but when I come over here, it's a little bit better. And I, th yeah, you see that? I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but as soon as I get with, you know, like in front of the mirror, it gets all buggy. And hopefully they will update this so that I can disable the mirror because that's kind of, it's kind of a distraction. And, and it takes away from the experience, for me anyway. But yeah, I think that's that's the only difference so far. Like, everything else is the same. Um, software update, I can't tell if the numbers are have changed too much. Um, everything else looks like it's the same. You know, since I first got version 57. So I can still do this. And I can still switch the view and then it becomes this again which is kind of cool uh, i do i do like that and yeah so that seems to be it the the button pushing has gotten a little bit better um since they've updated a couple more times since the actual update again it's it's still not perfect and I do have a lot of light in here, so it's it's not the lighting. But it has gotten better. And it is kind of fun to just play around with it. But yeah, that's, uh, that's what I just wanted to uh, update. So it's getting a little bit better. It is. They're adding a couple little new features. Um, now, they also added this, which I should mention. Uh, where are you at? MetaQuest guide. So right after version 51 uh, was downloaded into or or it was, you know, the software was updated into my headset. Um, they did this for version 56. Now it's version 57. So they're finally catching up. So that's nice. And then this is what it tells you. Yeah, you know, it tells you what it is that you can now move freely throughout the room. That's bullshit, by the way. Um, we, we covered this in the last video in some of the environments they had actually expanded where you can go to. Well, they took that away, gave us the original small little grid for the most part. And then now we can just jump from one place to another without the little individual dots. So kind of a half truth, I would say. The other thing is, uh, let's see, you can also use your pinch gesture with your hands by touching your forefinger to your thumb to bring up the teleporter. Okay, let's see if that works, because it wasn't working before. All right, no, no, let's... Nothing, not a damn thing. Only thing that works is if I go like that. So all I can really teleport to would be, I guess, the mirror. So maybe maybe they just haven't 
you know, fully updated. But that's another thing. I don't know about the group links, to be honest with you. You can read that if you'd like. Pause and read if you like. Uh, again, the Meta Horizon, I, I honestly don't know anything about that stuff. Um, the social aspect of Quest is completely foreign to me because I have no social life, no friends. Um, <laughs> so this is this is the same thing that happened with when I had Xbox uh, 360. The whole social aspect, I did not use. I did not play multiplayer games whatsoever. Unsend, again, who am I sending messages to? Touch, direct touch added to hands tutorial. Yeah, that, they kind of did something like that, but that's nothing new. Just to kind of show you how it works. Contact list. So if you're, you know, big on social stuff, this is, I guess, cool for you. Video recording improvements. You can now set a default option to include or not include microphone audio when recording. What? What do you mean? Hold on. So the microphone is there. On default, it was always off. So what? You're telling me I could change it to on now? I don't want it on. The microphone sucks. If we're being honest with each other. It, it actually does. Let's go back to the menu. Oh. Okay. Let's go back to the guide. Yeah, the, the microphone, at least from my recording, it sucks. It, it, it's it's riddled with problems. First off, it, it's not very loud. It's not... And, and the microphone I'm using now isn't even an expensive... Uh, great microphone but it's way better than the microphone the built-in microphone and two after a certain amount of time that you're playing and you're recording all the audio is out of sync with the video so there's really no reason to even use the microphone i suppose if you're doing if you're maybe if you're talking to someone at the same time you might want the microphone on i really don't know but apparently that's a an improvement Multitasking improvements, you can now use multiple apps simultaneously in a near and far configuration. This, I don't think has been, yeah, this feature will be rolling out gradually. I don't have it yet. Not that it's a big deal. I don't really care for my avatar. Uh, you can customize the color of your avatar's hair. That was always the thing. Oh, multi, -sh oh, oh, okay, okay, I get it. So it's not just fixed, like, this color, this color, this color. Now you can play around with like the shades. And I'm assuming this means you can also have multicolor hair. I don't really give a fuck, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but all right, I don't have it yet. I know that for a fact because um, I did check and it's not there. But that's, I guess, you know, for some people, especially if you're social and you're interacting with other people and you want them to see whatever you want them to see, I suppose that's cool. Uh, mixed reality and about some apps with mixed reality experiences no longer trigger a boundary warning when you approach or pass the boundary area, allowing people to safely enjoy the experience without interruption. So if I am playing a game where I see my room, it takes the boundary off, I'm assuming. Okay, I don't, I don't think I have any games that do that. We'll have to play around with that. I still have to, at some point, um, take this Quest headset outside because I want to see what it's like to be in a really large uh, boundaryless area and just walk through everything. We'll see. Hopefully, I can do that before winter. Removing MetaQuest casting mobile camera. What the fuck is that? We are removing a casting feature from... Okay, so you're removing something I didn't know about. Fair enough. And that's it. So that's what they got so far. Um, no mention of the controller and hand thing that I talked about. So that might be a feature that they were thinking of doing, but now they're not. Because that, I've noticed, happens a lot. And this is my little pet peeve. You watch these YouTubers. I don't got nothing against YouTubers. You know, the ones that actually make money. You know, you got to make money somehow. But they they get this stuff first. So they make these videos sometimes months before we actually get to see this stuff. And then they talk about features that 
ultimately don't show up. Now, I don't think they're purposely being uh, disingenuous, but how about remaking a video, coming back and saying, oops, the things I talked about in my video months ago didn't make it. Is that asking too much? I mean, it is another video that they can make money from. All right, I'm shitting on them a little bit. Only because lately I've been getting the the feeling that um, some of them are not as genuine as they pretend to be. Especially if there's money involved. What I mean by that is um, they play a new game that came out. And it is the most exciting game. Every game they play is the most exciting game. And maybe that's true for them. Maybe they just love VR so goddamn much that any new thing is amazing to them. But as a person that's still pretty new to this, a lot of this is amazing to me. But I played some games that were just like, eh, you know, not the greatest. Certainly not the most exciting game that they've talked about. Um, so I, I gotta, I gotta take it with a grain of salt, really. Whenever they say, "Oh, this new game's amazing," "Oh, this is amazing," not everything's amazing. Can can we can we try to be a little more down to earth? And because remember, these aren't most of these games are not free. We gotta pay for this stuff. So if I'm sitting here trying to decide between this game and that game because let's be honest i may not be able to afford both at least not at that moment i'm gonna go to these youtubers i'm gonna go watch their videos they're gonna make money from me watching their videos and i want them to give me a better idea of what this game is about so i can make a better choice all right i know i'm bitching about this but am i wrong if I am, like I said before, let me know in the comments. Maybe one day I could become one of those YouTubers that actually makes money from this. In that case, I'll probably still ra you know, rag on them and still say, yeah, that's kind of a shit thing to do to say this is the most amazing game when it's actually a piece of garbage. Because um, I have seen other YouTubers that they don't do that kind of content, but when they do make a video like that, they will be honest and they will say, wow, this game was crap. Meanwhile, like 15 other YouTubers who got that game first, they all have the same thing to say about it and how amazing it is. I'm not going to make any accusations, but I'm just saying it doesn't seem very genuine. And yes, I know I'm ranting now. So we're going to try to end this video right now. So that was the updates to version 57 along with me complaining a little bit uh, about stuff that I have no control over. What do you think of this one, of this uh, skybox? I absolutely love these new, this new ability to create these custom skyboxes. And if you are wondering how to do that um, for free and pretty easily, um, this is the app. It's called Moon VR Home. It is not native on the Quest, or at least in the Quest Store. You have to go to App Lab for it. It's free. Um, so just you know, check it out. And what you would do is you would just put in keywords for what you want to see and then it generates it and then if it's if it comes out like you want it to you can save it and if it doesn't well try again and they have a lot of different features for it a lot of different modes i would highly recommend that you use it if you don't have access to a computer like i do not and this would be the only way to make these custom skyboxes if you want to see more about that i actually have a video um about this whole thing so maybe check that out but all right i'm done i promise so that's what i got for you today if you enjoyed the video hit the like button you want to see more subscribe if you haven't already done so um leave a comment i love the comments i really do um and with any luck i'll see you in the next one and until then take care